Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is about fitting text to path. And I've done several videos on this, but I've, I'm going to throw in a couple of new little tools. Or So if I was going to fit this path to this circle, I always go Control D and make a duplicate of my text. Just in case I mess something up, I'm not, don't have to retype it. And then I'm going to go to text up here at the top, fit text to path. And then I'm just going to put on my circle until I get that red line, which means I'm top dead center. Now, the only thing wrong with this, if you've done a lot of other, you know, drawn some other items and, you know, you're way deep into this and you go, uh-oh, I didn't capitalize the P of path. Well, there's really nothing you can do unless you just go back up. And in some cases, you might can't back up that far enough. So go to arrange, great break group apart, take that text, go up to text. Well, let me show you right now. While it's on this curve, there's no edit bottom, but, but, uh, icon. You can't edit this text. If you try to edit it, uh, see, it won't even let you. If you try to edit it, let's just edit it. Let's, let's capitalize the P. It doesn't work. It doesn't know where to throw that P into. So, when you've got it broken apart, go up to text and straighten text. Now, when you click on it, your edit button comes up, P, capital P, put it back, and then just go right back to path. Now, there's another way to do this. Go over just to your text tool and just bring it alongside your circle and see your text tool changes to a curved A and then just start typing. And this sometimes uh, kind of helps you can kind of see if you're big enough. Then just take, grab this red node until you get top dead center, you'll get a line. Right there then you know your top dead center. Anyway, so that's a couple of different ways to do things. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.